these forged documents were used to procure a permit from the PNG Forest Authority. As a result of that, the provincial forest manager was arrested. And there is an ongoing criminal investigation. I have written this report and presented it with all this documentation to these very relevant organizations in May, end of May, beginning of June. I want to commend the Minister for SIPA. His department was the only department that promptly responded. And on the 30th of June, 2021, the managing director signed a temporary suspension notice of the operations of that company. That suspension notice was issued to the company, and the company has consequently completely ignored that suspension notice and continues its operations. I will, in no uncertain terms, come down hard on those who would like to operate like cowboys in this country and knowingly at the expense of our people destroy our environment. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, I am aware of the, of the matter that the good governor for Oro is alluding to, and it is of great concern that we can allow companies to op operate under very dubious circumstances. If what has been alleged is true. When this was brought to my attention, I directed the MD that they have got to investigate this matter, and if what has been alleged is true, then we must do what is necessary and as expected by our people. And that is to suspend that license.